Fires continue to roar, evacuees continue to flee, and it seems like there is no end in sight to the disaster and devastation. A postman disaster relief group truck rumbled through the Mile Zero City over the weekend to accept donations for first responders fighting the fires and evacuees fleeing their homes. We need food, we need canned goods, uh, lots of non-perishable, uh, small sizes for firemen, uh, small ketchup, small mustard type things, small coffees, juice, bars, anything for them. Uh, for the evacuees, similar, a lot are living in tents. Unfortunately. They didn't receive any donations while they were here, but they're hoping to start a drop-off station somewhere in the city. For now, if you'd like to make a donation, you can take the supplies to Grand Prairie, or you can contact them on Facebook. Between Nazco and Kluskus is those areas are all native reserve, and these people have all been displaced. They're all in Quinell. Uh, their freezers are sitting out there unplugged. Uh, fridges, they've been out there for a couple weeks now. They're not just asking for cans of soup or any non-perishable food item. Anything like dog or cat food or even body wash goes a long way in changing the lives of the people affected. There are more than 130 fires still burning in B.C., and as Lee says, this is a disaster that will be talked about for decades. There's families out there just like us that have kids. I mean, I've watched, you know, them come in with little kids and nothing on but pajamas, mom too, and they have nothing. They were just taken out of their homes, and so they need everything. There's, there's, there, it's a long-term thing, this. It, this isn't going to be over when the fire's over. A link to the donation page can be found on our CJDC TV Facebook page. Eric Tashner, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.